Everybody, I hope you're doing well. It's been an interesting week, as they all are, actually. Uh, thanks for tuning in to this week's weekly stock market update. Today is June 21st, first day of summer, officially, although it's been feeling like summer for a couple of weeks already. Uh, longest day of the year, that kind of stuff. Hope you're doing great. We've got a yellow market now. Uh, we just turned into a yellow market last night after the close. So, um, you know, things are looking like they're kind of at least staying the same and maybe even moving up. You know, this market has really been uh, been dragged up or dragged down, depending on how you look at it. The NASDAQ has been dragged up by the tech stocks, NVIDIA, Apple, um, you know, Microsoft, even Amazon. You know, some of these stocks are really highly weighted in the S&P, in the NASDAQ. And so you're seeing those go up, but you're seeing the general market kind of trending down over the last few weeks. And that looks to be, di uh, they were diverging and now they're converging so um, so things look maybe like they're going to go green pretty soon, which means you need to get your buy list ready uh, to find something to buy, because I always have a saying that you should buy something on the first part of a green market. Right now, though, we are yellow. We have to stay yellow here for a few days. Looks like maybe Tuesday we could go green at the earliest. And uh, right now you're seeing two reds and two green lights on your screen. And that's what we're dealing with, kind of a flat to downish market. But it looks like fortunes are starting to kind of turn around a little bit. Uh, let's take a look at a few of our uh, of, of our indexes. Uh, the NASDAQ Composite Index is, you know, hit an all time high a couple of days ago, and now it's off that, hitting that uh, that moving average, that eight day moving average. Same thing with the S and P five hundred, hit an all time high yesterday. Uh, but you know, the broad markets are not following it just yet. Although, look at the Dow. The Dow is bouncing off the fifty day moving average, finally back above it. That's always a good thing. A lot of good things can happen above the 50-day move average, like I always say. So maybe it puts that $40,000 price point back in play, and we may, may be able to get a little bit higher high. We are in the summer months, and a lot of people are taking their vacations at the Hamptons uh, on Wall Street. So um, you know we may not get the volume that we need to really get things going, and we may need a little bit of help from the Fed. We got an election coming up. My suspicion is the Fed is actually going to come out and say we might do a surprise rate cut. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, the New York Stock Exchange Composite, that's why that's why the market's been red, because the broad markets are kind of flat. And you can see the Dow was flat. Now the Dow is bouncing. The uh, the, NASDAQ, the New York Stock Exchange Composite is above the 50, which is great. But look at that. It's a flat chart for you know, the last couple of weeks. Um, we'll see if we can get a, a run back up to the 18,000 level. We might get that. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if we're in a recession or if we're thinking about being in a recession or whatever. Let's talk about the VIX. The VIX is now... Uh, inching a little bit back up, but it's below the moving averages. I'm not worried about the VIX. I, in fact, I'm not worried about these markets at, at all right now. I think it's, they're just, just mashing around here. So, however, speaking of mashing, Apple is not mashing. It's, uh, it's on a breakout. I put out a video on June 6th, I believe it was, and said, look, you got to be watching this 199 level. And here it is at 210. It's up 20 bucks from, from that video. Um, uh, and that's good stuff. I mean, that's a nice tech out that we had on good relative strength apple um, is on a charge and uh, when it goes up it goes up on high volume when it goes down it's uh down on lower volume that's all good for a bullish run to i think you know maybe to 240 um certainly i was saying you know when it goes to the 200 level it's going to go to 220 it hit exactly 220 and bounced back down and sitting here around the 210 level so apple is good tesla is on a six-week you know, tight pattern. So it hasn't really done much in about six weeks. That's usually a bullish sign. It's normally an ad point in our portfolio pyramiding strategy. By the way, quick commercial. Um, in, a, in about a month, I'm going to be having a, um, if you like the way I read charts, I'm going to be having a program called Trade Like a Pro Accelerator. And the Trade Like a Pro Accelerator is, you know, about uh, breakout strategies. Like we talk about here and where stocks are breaking out. You know, it's the right stock in the right market at the right spot on the chart. And we really focus a lot on chart reading in the right spot on the chart. If you catch one of these right, like an Apple, an NVIDIA, an SMCI, uh, you know, an Amazon, some of these stocks that have been breaking out this year, and you catch them at the right spot, it's really easy to make money. You know, the question is, how do you trade it? How do you stay in it? How do you add to it? When do you pull your stock off the table? Those kinds of things, which is all part of portfolio management. If you're not learning that, 
it's a fun little class. It's um, I'm excited about it. It's a new spin with a live mentorship uh, program on top of a great course that I've written called Trade Like a Pro. So if you're interested in that, I'll probably put a link in the bottom here so that you can find out a little bit more about that. I have a free mini course leading up to it, that kind of stuff. Uh, anyway, back to the stock. So Tesla is making a tight pattern and, you know, they got all these announcements and all this great stuff going. But, you know, like I've said, you know, on other market updates, the stock sometimes doesn't mirror what the price of, uh, of what's going on at the company. So the company's doing all these great things, but the stock, because there's some mashing around, that's my word today, mashing around of earnings and things like that, it's kind of going uh, sideways to backwards. It's been a tough year, no question about it. If you've been in Tesla, while you're watching them to do all these great things, they're, they're not selling as many uh, cars as they thought and the street thought. And so there's a whole reversion of what the stock has been doing. And it's been painful. Uh, as I've been been in it for a while as well. NVIDIA is the opposite. NVIDIA is just on a tear. Gosh, you know, if you look at it, what it was here in uh, December of 2022, it was 10 bucks. Now it's, you know, 14 times higher than that. And these are, these are breakouts that you can catch. This is a weekly chart and NVIDIA is on a beautiful breakout with a pullback this week. Um, and uh, and if you, you'd, you'd been buying it back when we talked about it the first time, you'd have made a lot of money. That was around the five. Well, the $50 level now was 505 before it split 10 for one. All right, Amazon, uh, nothing wrong with Amazon. Amazon's coming into a little consolidation breakout potentially here. It needs a little bit more volume to really get some love to go higher. Microsoft though is on a small, low volume breakout. I wouldn't put too much trust in this in this run, but if we get a green market and we get a, a nice little breakout, we might have a, it looks like about a 40 like a 10%, 15% run in uh, in Microsoft from its breakout point. So uh, keep an eye on Microsoft. It's doing a lot of good things. It's growing with that open AI product, product that they have. JP Morgan Chase being in the banking had a failed breakout, false breakout. They went up four or five weeks ago, and now they're heading back down to the 50-day moving average. It's probably going to mash around here for a while. There's the third time I've used mash. Uh, and we'll just finish off here at Kava Group. It's a nice stock that's on a beautiful run. Even having another decent week up a up percent this week, that's not setting the world on fire. But if you look at where it's come from, it's gone from 60 to almost, you know, $91 and uh, or you know, almost 100, actually. So that's a pretty good run. Obviously, there's going to be some pullbacks and and profit taking in there at some point. But that's that's the kind of chart you want to see. Uh, that's it for me. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I don't want to bore you and keep you here talking about too many stocks. If you haven't subscribed to my insider tips newsletter it's free you might as well subscribe there's a link below for that too and um and love to see you on the uh trade like a pro accelerator program uh i got a really great deal that i'm putting together so uh hopefully you're interested in that and you can find out a bit more um thanks for show, showing up have a fantastic summer weekend and i'll see you on the next weekly stock market update take care bye